Hey everybody, welcome to the Lion's Den. Um, today we're going to be doing a EXO reading, um, EXO career reading. And so um, basically um, for us getting started, I drew a few tarot to kind of see what may be going on with EXO within the next um, five to six months, being that you know we're already starting um, February. Um, so far, the only thing that I'm seeing within this time is possibly um, scandal-wise is possibly somebody saying something inappropriate and sticking their foot in their mouth, someone saying something that may um, end up getting the group into um, a lot of trouble. Um, I see this having a pretty, pretty bad effect um, for the group. Um, I feel like it, it, it's going to cause a lot of anti-fans. Um, I do see with the Ace of Swords that there, I kind of more like feel like there is going to be damage control. There is going to be someone to come to their defense or sort of straighten, straighten things out a bit. And that will probably complete the cycle for possibly one of the biggest, you know, drama scandals that may, may happen with EXO in the next five to six months. Um, Basically, I don't know what it would entail, but somebody opening their mouth and saying something that may be inappropriate. Um, <clears throat> so we're going to go on into more of the career reading. Um, this is probably going to be the longest part. This is going to be the longest part. So the overall energy behind like what's going on with EXO within the next um, five to six months is I got Remembrance. I got winter, um, it says the sacredness, yeah, the sacredness of pausing. And then I got ghost and regret, okay? So the energy that I'm feeling is behind EXO within the next six months overall is kind of, um, I feel like it's more of remembering, okay, okay remembering um, sort of what they were or what they could have been, um, possibly taking some sort of break. Um, and also there being some sort of regrets and, po and possibly what they could have been doing or could have done, um, things that they could have changed or things that they felt like they wanted to do before the before, um I'm not gonna say the year is up. This is not the entire year. This is the next six months. So um, just just things that they could have done that they didn't get to accomplish, okay? So there is going to be some regret within EXO. I don't know about what in particular, but there will be some. Um, now, let me pull this spread up right quick because I'm trying a new spread. Um, I never usually go by spreads, but I will be doing it this time. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and follow me on Twitter, please. Okay, so we're going to start off with actions that could be taken to advance their career. So for them, with the actions that could be taken to advance their career, I got, let's see, this is the first chakra, Archangel Michael, man holding a coin. Um, we're going to start off with these. And what I'm feeling, what I'm feeling is this is more of about stabilizing themselves. Um, believe it or not, what the messages that I'm getting is they're not necessarily as stable in their career as we may think they are. And I mean, literally, I was sitting there like, you know, that doesn't make sense because it seems like they're very stable. They're, they have shows running. Everybody's doing their own individual things. But apparently from another perspective, from a spiritual perspective, they're not necessarily as stable as we think they are. There may be a lot of things going on um, behind the scenes that they're very concerned about. Um, man holding a coin. Um, they're they're also concerned about their money, their funds, um, and how they're going to continue to sort of earn. Well, I don't know, but this is 
with the actions that they could be taking to improve their career is sort of restabilizing themselves and I'm sort of taking up new activities and taking up new, possibly even solo um, activities and jobs for them. Um, what I also got was um, coming to life, dry desert, stuck in the mud. So what I'm feeling from this is they have to come up with some new ideas, okay? I feel like the show is kind of one of those, but um, it's talking about come, they need to come up with some brand new ideas and some other new activities to bring some life to their desert and to get out of this sort of stuck in the mud position. Because it's just like right now, um, what I'm being, what I'm being told with these cards is just kind of them. It's like spirit is saying that they need to continue to put out new content. They need to continue to try different things, try different activities, possibly go on even more shows. It's just like um, there needs to be more activeness, even more so. Okay. Um, let me make sure my spread is still up there. Sorry. Okay. It's continuing on. Um, what they need to do to con to um, advance their career is, again, this is to me planning. Planning and kind of, oh, you guys can't see. We have the thinker, okay? We have clean it up. We have message in a bottle. And we have co-create. So what I'm kind of feeling from these cards here is more so that they're going to have to sort of make, come up with more tighter routines. Something again, just like the previous cards, um, something different, come up with something a little more creative. I'm a little more out there to grab some more attention. Um, I feel like, um, there's been some things that have been offered to the EXO members, some, some opportunities that have been coming to them, low-key, not very open opportunities, but some low-key um, things that have been suggested to them. And I feel like this is kind of saying that they need to take it. They need to sort of wrap up other things that they may have been doing or tried to do and failed to do, wrap that up and um, sort of go for something else that is offered to them. Um, Co-create is also talking about subunits. I feel like it's just saying that um, that they need to do some either either not only subunits, but also possibly working with other groups. Like even if it's still just within SM or even groups outside of SM, I feel like this is saying that they need to EXO um, needs to come together and work with another group. Um, and that would help advance their career. Um, also is taking taking shelter and impasse. So this is kind of like there's going to be, I feel like there is going to be some sort of um, block for them. Um, there's going to be a block. I don't think they can they can get past this block. There is going to be a block. There is going to be something that happens if they can't do anything about that. Um, but it's just saying that there's going to be answers for them to solve their own problems within. They're going to have to work that out within the group and within um, with each other um, and also reflect and redirect their energy to something better, something that can um, better help them advance their career and stabilize them even further as EXO. Um, what are the last from what the guides are saying about EXO as the group and what they can do to um, advance their career? is improve their bravado and intuition. And what I'm feeling like is, I feel like they need to be a lot more bolder. I, EXO is already reckless, to be honest, reckless and bold. But this is just like talking about them needing to be a lot bolder, a lot more out there. Um, them need to stand up a lot more for themselves, do a lot more of what they want. Um, I feel like even with inner child and intuition, it's just like they sort of have a gut feeling of where they need to be at and what they need to do. Um, and I feel like sometimes they're going to need to really have to be brats about it and, and 
a, a, a powerful brat, you know what I mean? Like if they want to do something, they need to make a fuss about it, make a scene about it and go ahead and get it done. And they're going to be stuck with regrets because they didn't get it. They didn't do what they wanted to. Okay. So that's what we have for um, basically what they need to do to advance their career in the next six months, five to six months. Okay, let me put these up. Okay, so the next one is... Um, the next set is aspects of their career that they cannot change, okay? So within, the, what can they not change within the next six months? Okay. So the truth, truth be told in reverse, blessed in reverse, and then time to go upright. I feel like there is something, their blessings have run out for something. And it's possibly within the next five months, they may, I feel like, I don't want to say their blessings have run out. I'll just say that they may not have the greatest of luck for the next five or six months. Um, that doesn't mean they're going to do poorly. It just means that like they may not sort of get or receive as much as they used to, not on the level as they used to. Um, and also what I'm also feeling is like, there is something that they possibly do want to be told something that they want a secret that they want out, um, something that they want to be released. Um, it could possibly be an injustice. I don't know. Um, but whatever that is, it's not going to come out. Whatever the secret is that EXO kind of wants, um, that may that they may want out it's not going to come out it's going to stay bottled up it's going to stay a secret um and it, it i think whatever it is may hurt them um it may hurt them career wise it may hurt them you know financially whatever this secret is it may hurt it seems like it's going to hurt them within the next five or six months whether we see it on the outside or not this is what's going to be happening on the inside within exo and um, the time to go is talking about, I feel like it's either going to be time for them to release or somebody's leaving. Um, and I feel like it, it's possibly the army thing, like, you know, Jumin's probably heading into the army, but time to go is here. And also this kind of makes me think of um, um, this card, this sort of winter, um, the sacredness of pausing. They may have to stop, change, or pause some activities because of um, either some Jumin going into the military or change things up because of that. And this, because of it's like winter or fall, it could happen um, in the earlier months or it could happen um, within um, August, even though I'm trying to do this from till June, but you know, moving on. Um, so the next card that came out on aspects of their um, career that they cannot change is follow the leader and uh, and rock bottom. Now, I know when it says follow the leader, some of you may immediately think of Suho, but that's not what I was getting. I was actually getting SM artist. Um, and I mean, like, I was feeling like Super Junior and TVXQ. Um, I don't know why, but I feel like it's like... XO career wise may want their career to sort of still stay um, or even grow even further like, you know, most of the more newer groups. Um, and I don't really believe it's as harsh as rock bottom, but for within the next six months, I feel like they're sort of transitioning into following the route that the older groups within SM have taken and may not be as much in the forefront um, as they used to be. And for them, they would feel like they would be hitting rock bottom. And I feel like that's something that they can't change. Within the next five to, five to six months, um, the attention may not necessarily be all on them anymore. And it may be more of um, paying attention to younger groups, okay? Um, 
Yeah, that's. I feel like that's going to be something that's going to affect their them emotionally, and they're going to feel like they they've really sort of sunk in low, or maybe something that may happen within the next five to six month months, and they really are going to sort of crash for a moment before they get back up. Um, but this kind of oh, okay, this is kind of explaining and expounding more on it. And it says the garden gate. So the garden gate is kind of talking about they're sort of staying within the guidelines, within the boundaries of um, um, whatever SM will allow them to do. They're kind of staying within that safe spot, that safe space. And they're looking out into the whole entire new field. And um, it's just like they're not really reaching out or trying as many new things as they should be doing. Um, because they're they're pretty safe in the garden that they have. They're pretty safe with the riches that they already have, the um, the large fan base, fan base that they already have. So they're not necessarily seeking out more. Um, so and since this is things that they cannot change, I don't think they are going to change that. They're not going to try new things. They're not going to really step out of the box um, like they should. Uh, I see contract in reverse here. Somebody's contract may end. I hope not. I hope not. Don't shoot the messenger. Um, it may be somebody may be ending a contract within the next five to six months or even this year. Um, and if not, if not them deliberately ending it, somebody's contract may be ended in general. I'm a little concerned about this card. I don't know what's going to happen. But, um, I mean, you guys are with me. We're just going to see what happens. Um, we're just going to see what happens. I, I see, I personally see EXO as a group that's going to last a few more years, like at least four, um, before anything happens. But we'll see. We'll see what happens. Um, the contract um, the contract in reverse could be talking about something else. But, um, and so the, um, what the, the guides are talking about is boredom decisions, community, and new beginnings, okay? Um, so the advice from the guides on this thing is, again, talking about sort of, and I think boredom landing over the, the, the sort of garden gates is very interesting. It's because even though the fields outside is plain, it's vast, and it's so much more to do out there. I mean, they have everything within these garden gates, but boredom comes, and it's saying, but they're bored, Okay. Exxon wants to do something else. They want more. And it's like, I think it's a very hard decision for them. It's like, do we take the risk? Do we take the risk and step out of our, our, our safety net and step out of our, um, our home? Or do we sort of just stay here and be bored and be unsatisfied? Um, community is just talking about basically the fan base and themselves and each of the members um, it's something that they should experience, experiment with within their group, within their fans, and see what they want in order to find and start new beginnings, okay? But for things that they cannot change, it's just, it's a lot, okay? Sorry about that. Okay, so moving on. The last, the last one we have here is, um, all right, so I just, I just lost it. Just, just give me one second. Just give me one second. Okay, so the last one it is, is anticipated results if guidance is followed, okay? By this time, y'all know I already forgot what the guidance was to begin with. So, you know, y'all just gonna have to rewind the video. Um, this was in reverse, but it doesn't matter. I know it was in reverse. Okay. I'm gonna start off with these six. So, if the guidance is followed, I feel like it's like, they are, if they follow instructions, if they follow things, what it'll lead to them um, is a choice. Um, it will lead them to a choice. And it may seem like them being stuck um, probably for the first half of the year. Again, I'm trying to decide on what they really want to do with themselves. Um, but the choices 
are are good. They're still they're good things. Soulmates come out kind of talking about um, again. I'm feeling like there there are two options, and these both of these options will lead to prosperity. It may not be um, like extreme growth. It may not be um, as huge as they used to, or as as huge as they may want it to be. But either way, they will still survive. They're still going to be, you know, XO, you know. But um, we have Unfinished Symphony here. And Unfinished Symphony is, is, I don't feel like it's necessarily a bad thing. I feel like Unfinished Symphony is just saying that XO is not done. Like, they're, they're not done. It's not over for them. Um, if they follow directions um, and they try some new things and step out on faith, um, that they won't disappear okay um so this is continuing on it's just like if they follow the instructions given to them to help their career they'll find a new home a home to me that i feel like you know at first you won't be able to see it you know it, it seems sort of camouflage you're not sure if you're going to be able to actually if there's actually a home there at all but if you look hard enough, you kind of see the door and the opening to a new opportunity. And that's what I feel like um, would be coming for them if they try something new, if they make a decision and try something new. Um, Peaks of Joy and Bone Collector are here talking about um, basically they're, they're going to have a lot of highs. Like they're going to be, they're going to be some highs in the next month that are just at the top, like at the peak that will seem like it's just like, oh, this is the greatest thing to happen to EXO. They're not, you know, they're not, they're not down. They're not out, you know? And I feel like Peaks of Joy in particular is here because I feel like there's going to be a lot of low points coming up. But when they're at their, but when they, you know, hit that highest, they're going to be at their highest, if that makes sense. Um, so we also have Bone Collector here. Bone Collector is basically, um, she's here to sort of hold on to and protect everything that Excel has built. So in case anything does go wrong, she saves and she and she protects um, basically, let, let's say Excel's legacy or whatnot. Um, Bone Collector is here to sort of um, make sure that whatever Excel has done in their career is not tarnished. Okay. Um, again, if they follow instructions there's going to be a transformation for them um, within their career within the next five to six months um even though there are going to be storms ahead like i said there are going to be some downs within the next five six months for exo um including a possible scandal because somebody can't keep their mouth closed and most more than likely that's usually becky on um so um yeah, even though they do have signs that there's going to be trouble within those months, um, the rainbow blessings are showing that they will still be okay. They'll still end up on top. They'll be fine. Um, so then we also have, um, for if they follow instructions, they'll have new strategies, new plans, new ways to entertain their fans, new that bars, I'm sorry, it, new ways to sort of kind of keep their career float. Um, they'll find it's like a new path again, because how we have, you know, um, fork in the road, where they're going to go on a journey by finding someplace else, something else to do, something more interesting, something even more fun. Um, and Door to Spirit is kind of to me, I feel like it's more of like talking about an awakening that they'll have, um, a new realization of sort of even business and really career life. Um, it, I feel like in the next five to six months is a stage of growth for them, okay? Um, and the spiritual guidance is just talking about, again, like I said, and a, you know, like I said, it's going to be a sort of a new growth um, for them. Epiphany comes up. Um, within the next five months, it's going to be something where they're going to really find out some new ways to sort of work their career. They're going to find out a lot of new things to do with themselves, to do with subunits, to do with just, just more creative things that will um, come out of it if they follow the directions, if they kind of choose um, a smarter path. Um, and once they do, um, it's going to be something that they're devoted for or they're going to need to be devoted to, okay? something that they're going to need to be devoted to. It will require compromise. 
They are going to have to sort of make deals, some that they want, some that they may not want, but they are going to have to sort of make deals in order to sort of achieve and kind of still have everything that they want, okay? And that's kind of what we have for um, EXO's career reading. Um, I do wish them all the best because, you know, EXO's, I like EXO. I really rock with EXO heavy. I just hit my 25 mark, so I'm going to not talk anymore. Just make sure you give me a like, thumbs up, share with your friends. Have fun, everybody. Toodles.